Good evening. This is a regularly scheduled meeting of the Kettering City Council. Today's date is August 23rd, 2022. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll be reading the agenda, the uh, prayer for this evening. Dear Lord, thank you for all who serve the Kettering community. Give us enthusiasm for our work and wisdom to make the right decisions. May we remain humble and grateful for the opportunity to lead. Guide this council so that we may continue to serve our citizens with integrity and purpose always remembering to be worthy of the responsibilities entrusted in us by our residents. I would like to welcome Tia Payne, founder of the Girls Emerging into Maturity, and their mentors, mentees, who are in the audience tonight. You need to stand and see their wave or something there. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your visit here with us. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pick the brief meeting. Okay. Um, I would like to recognize our Miami Valley Communications Council TV operator, Mike Saproni. Mike, thank you for your assistance. As always, there's his hand. Okay. Um, I do need to amend the agenda for this evening. Um, is there a motion to amend the agenda by adding, after the City Council report update, an executive session under section 121.06K of the codified ordinances for the purposes of personnel matters? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. And call for a vote. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duval? Yes. Mayor Lehner? Yes. Um, we have um, our approval of the minutes from the last meeting and workshop. Mrs. Fisher, may I call on you for a motion? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. I have read both the council meeting and workshop minutes for August the 9th, and I see they are in order, and I move for approval. Second. Okay. Um, the motion has been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments? Seeing none, call the roll. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Abstain. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mayor Lehner? Yes. Okay. Um, we do have a presentation this evening from a holiday at home. I'd like to start with that. Carrie Kine. Did I pronounce your name right? Keen. Keen. I had a feeling it was. Good evening, Mayor and Council. We are here today just to express our gratitude to the Council. Uh, we have our annual festival coming up of Labor Day. Uh, the history of Holiday at Home was actually started with a partnership with the YMCA. And we, back in the day when it was started many, many years ago, was a way to embrace the new community of Kettering and to embrace celebrating Labor Day at home instead of traveling, to enjoy the hometown and celebrate uh, with our neighbors and our families. And it has been a longstanding tradition in Kettering uh, with a parade, an arts and crafts festival, food vendors, and lots of things the entire weekend. Um, why we're here tonight is because we know we have new faces on the council and we would like to invite you and welcome you to come and join us at that festival and also just to continually thank you and express our appreciation for the partnership that you have with us um, in support um, of many different things as we plan our festival and we get ready. We use resources here at the city and we continually need you and appreciate the fact that you support what we do and attend and visit. And we just want to say thank you and we're looking forward to continuing with you and meeting and getting to know you in the weekend. Thank you. Boy, you're good, Carrie. Um, I have but a small part of the holiday at home, as you know, it's about this big as far as the weekend goes, very small part. I think it's called the parade. 
Um, it's a but a, bit it's that big. It's thing. a little bit bigger. Right? But again, Mayor, I appreciate your openness and trying to help me when we met a few months ago. You know, you said I can do whatever I wanted to do, and that's what we're doing. And with your blessing, we've had it. Um, but again, thank you, City Council, for welcoming us here. And some of your old dogs, like Tony and Bruce, I appreciate you guys' support, <laughs> Bruce. You told me you were going to walk the parade, but I think you're going to ride, I hope. You, you promised you'd walk this year, but we'll take a ride. Um, but again, I just want to thank the city for your support and hope you all come out, you know, holiday at home weekend and support us all. So again, uh, thank you very much. And thank you, Shauna, for helping us get everything together as well. Mm -hmm. By the way, Ed, you didn't mention your name and I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry, Ed Kanan. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Ed's been doing a great job. Hi, my name is Bill Bradley. I'm on the parade committee for Holiday at Home. And I'd like to uh, tell all the new council members that tomorrow you'll get a memo that will explain to you the Holiday at Home rules and excruciating details that you need to know for the parade. So we look forward to uh, you understanding all those things. But I'm here tonight. I've been with Holiday at Home for 16 years. It's another magic number of somebody else that's been around the city for six, over 16 years. And we need to show our appreciation for all the great things that have, the city has done for Holiday at Home. And those things have been done under the auspices, the guidance, and the leadership of Mark Sweetman. So we'd like to say with Holiday at Home, thank you, Mark Sweetman, for all you've done for Holiday at Home. That's okay. Yeah, you don't I'm, have to say anything tonight. <laughs> But we I'm, really appreciate yeah, Mark and everything yeah. he's done, and uh, we're going to miss him, yeah. and uh, we look forward to continuing our relationship with Holiday at Home and the city. Thank you very Mark, much. Mark had to step out for a family emergency. Everything's okay, but um, he wasn't here to see the signs, but I'm sure everyone will make him watch it on the reruns. So, yeah, exactly. Thanks for uh, thinking of Mark. It's been great. Okay, we have no public hearings this evening. Um, we do invite anyone in the audience who would like to come down to speak right now on any of the legislative items that are on the agenda tonight, just legislative. Anyone wishing to speak before council with comments or new information about the legislation on tonight's agenda may do so at this time. Each speaker is limited to five minutes. Speakers must state their name and address. Comments should be addressed to council. If you have comments that are not about the legislation on tonight's agenda, there will be an opportunity for those to be heard later in the meeting. So is there anyone wish to speak to legislation at this point? Okay, not seeing anyone, we will move along on our agenda then. We will now uh, move to ordinances in second reading and there are no ordinances in first reading. So, resolutions. Your Honor, I have a resolution authorizing the city manager to contract with Heapy Solutions LLC for the purchase and installation of new chillers for the Kettering Recreation Complex. The estimated cost is $1 million, $800, and we have none in the budget at this time. And it is requested by the Public Services Department, and I do move for approval. Second. Okay, um, normally someone cues me in as to who's going to talk about it, so I think it's going to be you, Steve. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this resolution will authorize the city to contract with Heapy Solutions, LLC, for the purchase and installation of new chillers at the rec center. Uh, the rec center's cooling system has uh, become very maintenance intensive in the recent months, and we've had a number of problems with it, uh, keeping the facility cool, um, particularly this summer. Uh, we are. Uh, we would like to move forward with uh, ordering uh, new equipment, uh, mainly due to supply chain issues that we uh, anticipate in long lead times. Uh, so this contract with Heapy Solutions will allow the city to purchase the equipment um, next month uh, and installation um, in late spring of 2023. Be happy to answer any questions. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, seeing none, call the roll. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mayor Lehner? Yes. Your Honor, I have a resolution ratifying a contract with Heapy Engineering, Inc. for design services and authorizing an additional expenditure of funds. The estimated cost is $36,500. The amount budgeted is zero at this time. Requested by Public Service Department. I move for approval. Second. 
Okay, Mr. Burks. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, as mentioned, this resolution will ratify a contract with Heapy Engineering, Inc. Uh, for design services and authorize an additional, an additional expenditure of funds. This is in relation to the previous resolution. Uh, Heapy Engineering will design the equipment uh, for the new rec center cooling system. Uh, however, the anticipated design costs will be greater than the $25,000 fund threshold that requires city council approval. Be happy to answer any questions. Any questions? Okay, call the roll. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mayor Laner? Yes. Your Honor, I have a resolution authorizing the city manager to accept an additional grant from the Dayton Foundation. Uh, this is being requested by special grants and programs, and the estimated cost is $2,500. I move for approval. Second. Mr. Burke, Stressor. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this resolution will authorize the city to uh, accept a $2,500 grant uh, from the Dayton Foundation to support handicap accessible seating upgrades and or a companion seat for a concert at the Frey's Pavilion. Uh, the city was awarded a grant uh, to support this endeavor. Uh, this, this is the second grant for this purpose and the amount from the Dayton Foundation in 2022. And the total, as mentioned, the total grant amount is $2,500. Mm -hmm. Be happy to answer any questions. Do you have any questions? Seeing none, call the roll. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mayor Laner? Yes. Your Honor, I have a resolution to make supplemental appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the City of Kettering, State of Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December 31, 2022. The amount is $1.839 million. The amount budget is zero and is requested by the Finance Department. I move for approval. Second. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, we have two items on the uh, supplemental appropriation for this evening. Uh, both are related to previous resolutions. Uh, so the first one is, is for the $2,500 uh, Dayton Foundation grant uh, for Frey's Pavilion. And the second one is a $1,836,500 supplemental for the design, purchase, and installation of the new chiller system at the rec center. Be happy to answer any questions. Any questions? None call the roll. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mayor Laner? Yes. Okay. Moving on to ordinances in first reading, there are none. Certificates and petitions. Ms. Kaczynski? We have Your Honor, we do not have any certifications or petitions this evening. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, I will now call on Mr. Bergstresser to do the city manager's report. Thank you, Your Honor. A um, couple items tonight on the uh, city update. Uh, the first is a rather exciting event that's happening actually this week. It's the USGA Women's Senior Open Golf Tournament at our very own NCR Country Club. Uh, great event, and uh, we're looking forward to welcoming, welcoming some of the best senior uh, women's golfers uh, in the country, and frankly, uh, I think in some cases around the world. So. Uh, if you can go to the, the USGA uh, link on the, uh, on the, um, right up on the screen uh, to purchase tickets. And I will mention that uh, kids 18 and under are free, so it's a great, great opportunity. Uh, next is our community block party uh, coming up on Wednesday, August 30th from 6 to 8, the Phrase Pavilion. Uh, if you recall, we uh, hoped, to ho hoped to hold this event uh, back in June, but Mother Nature did not cooperate. Uh, so we have uh, now the rescheduled date uh, for next Wednesday, August 30th. Uh, really great event for the community to learn more about uh, city departments and enjoy a free hot dog. Uh, next up uh, really goes without any uh, explanation, the Holiday at Home uh, Festival uh, coming up soon on Labor Day weekend. Um, a small parade, um, a small arts and crafts exhibit, just kidding, but um, really a fabulous uh, event for our community. It's something we look forward to uh, every year. And just a reminder that city offices will be closed on Monday, September 5th uh, for Labor Day. Uh, importantly, a rumpy trash service uh, will be delayed by one day that week. And then lastly, uh, the ever popular uh, Shred Day uh, with uh, cooperation from Day Air Credit Union will be held on Saturday, October 1st from 9 a.m. to noon at a new location uh, at Fairmont High School in the front parking lot, uh, just around the corner here from the Government Center. Your Honor, that's all I have tonight for the community update. Be happy to answer any questions. Okay. Thank you very much. 
Um, at this point, if there's anyone who would like to come speak before City Council, please come down to the podium. Each speaker will have a five minute limit. Speakers are asked to state their name and address. Is there anyone who would like to speak before City Council? Ah, we do have a taker. Okay. Come on down, state your name, and welcome. My name is John Biller. I live at 1308 Elmdale Drive. <clears throat> uh, members of the council, Mayor Laner, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you tonight. Thank you for the community for coming out. It's been an empty house the last four times here, so thanks for the added pressure. <clears throat> we like it too. <laughs> I would like to bring to your attention a few opportunities for success I've compiled from the residents of Berkeley Heights in District 4. <clears throat> First, would you mind pulling your microphone? Thank you. Yes. Is that better? I think so. Okay. Do you see the hand? <clears throat> First, the mosquito population has made their backyards and front porches unbearable during the nicest weather of the year. <clears throat> As a resident of the community, I can attest to the validity of this concern. I think we may have more mos <laughs> mosquitoes than Florida does. Within minutes of being outside on our front porch, we are swarmed. Is there anything that the council can do to increase the quality of life for the residents affected? <clears throat> Second, the next opportunity that has been brought to my attention is a concern about traffic patterns along Regent Street and Hilton Drive. The residents are specifically concerned about speeding vehicles and impaired drivers. <clears throat> the residents of the neighborhood seem to be split on the best course of action as some want speed humps and others do not. However, all seem to agree that the speeding tickets may, be, uh, may alleviate the situation. <clears throat> I, however, can't entirely agree with this and have a few recommendations. A speed limit sign is needed for Regent Street as it appears none was put back after a recent construction project. And I also think a radar, speeding, uh, a radar tracking speed limit sign for Hilton may solve the issue there. In addition to these two items, I believe we should engage in a conversation with the city of Dayton as they own the golf facility. There's ample room on the golf course property for a driveway that would alleviate the through traffic in the neighborhood. I believe this is the only practical solution to the concern the residents have. The reason being is the neighborhood demographics are shifting back to younger families with small children. No doubt, <clears throat> drawn there by the amazing Southdale Elementary School. As the golf course does serve alcohol, I think it would be prudent to recognize that there will be some amount of patrons that may accidentally leave the golf course slightly over the legal limits. Combine that with physical exertion on a hot sunny day, we have all the necessary factors for a traffic accident in our community. <clears throat> I recognize that this would be a costly project and the city of Dayton would not likely want to fund it. Perhaps we could leverage this opportunity to buy the property from them, invest the money into our community, and add an additional revenue stream at the same time. I think Mark might appreciate that one. My last opportunity to pre present to you tonight is also of grave importance to me and the residents of my community. <clears throat> there seems to be a misunderstanding between the black community members and the police department, specifically some of the younger members of our police force. I understand that this is a difficult opportunity, but I see it as an opportunity nonetheless. <clears throat> I would like to ask the police department arrange a community event, perhaps at the Hills and Dales Park, and get to know the members of the community and to break down any racial barriers that may exist on either side. As this is a difficult conversation to start, I would like to volunteer myself to act as a liaison for the community and to begin the conversation. Members of council, Mayor Lehner, I appreciate your time. I look yeah. forward to hearing your response. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, several of the issues you raised today deal with police issues, if you want to just wait. Um, and I'm sure the chief is here. He's heard them and uh, we'll discuss these if there's any merit you'd want to see moving forward. As far as the mosquitoes, I have no idea who's in charge of mosquitoes in the city, <laughs> um, but Mr. Burke Stresser, as the city's manager tonight, it's in your lap. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I know many communities uh, do actively engage in like aerial mosquito spraying. Uh, we do not in Kettering. Uh, we have not to date, uh, to my knowledge, at least in recent years. Um, certainly something we can investigate, but um, as of right now, we don't have an active program for mosquito spraying around the city. Okay. Thank you. 
Your, Do council members have any comments? Your Honor, I'd, I'd be glad to comment briefly. Um, I'm Bruce Duke. That's my district all these years. Um, over the years, we have had some concerns periodically with folks leaving the golf course that are inebriated, and uh, we have worked very effectively with the golf course management and uh, over time. So I, I think that's something that we could engage on our end to talk to the course administrators there because they work carefully with the leagues and they try to, to limit that. So um, thanks for bringing that up. I, I wasn't aware that it was going on at this, at this point in time. It's speeding and it's the alcohol and so forth as they leave the golf course. I get it. And it's something we can take a look at. Unfortunately, we cannot buy that golf course. That is uh, in perpetuity to the city of Dayton from John Patterson. So we will not be buying the golf course at any time. But we can work on it to make it a, a better living environment for the folks in your neighborhood. Thanks. Thanks for bringing it up. Thank you, Mr. Duke. Um, at this point, I will move on to uh, council reports. And Mrs. Fisher, would you like to go first? Sure. Anyone else? Yeah. yeah, let me just back up a little bit. Was there anyone else who wished to speak to council tonight? Okay, thank you. Was that a hand? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> she was bidding on an auction. She was bidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't okay. scratch, don't scratch. <laughs> Mrs. Fisher. Your Honor, it has been a, a very busy couple of weeks with ribbon cutting and events, but I'm going to highlight two that I had an opportunity to be involved with. Art on the Common, I was a volunteer to be uh, help out with hospitality, so I walked around talking to the artists, um, looking at their work, encouraging them um, before the rain came and left and came again, um, bringing them water, giving them breaks, etc. And uh, words of encouragement and kindness was was key, and I will say that was probably one of the best um, volunteer things that I've done in a long time. It was fun, it was positive, it was great, and it was a great event. Um, second uh, thing I want to, speaking of the kindness, I was uh, out on my daily walk and uh, I was on Timberwild and I witnessed one of our residents bringing out cold water to the guys that were picking up the trash on a very hot day. And I was like so moved. I said, how awesome. You just, somebody's doing their job, doesn't expect anything, and out comes cold water. And that was just a great thing to see. And we live in a great city, you guys, so know that. That's, That's all great. I have. Thank you. Mr. Kleepath. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, following up, uh, what uh, Jackie mentioned about Art on the Commons was held on Sunday, but the uh, uh, Sunday the 14th. The night before, on the 13th, there was an event at Rosewood Art Center. Uh, called, it was a Meet the Artist uh, event, uh, and a good portion of us of, on council uh, did attend that. But the, the big uh, takeaway from that was uh, we uh, were able to see phase one completed at Rosewood and uh, what that place is going to look like uh, this time next year. If it's even close to what they've already done, it's going to be amazing. What a great <laughs> facility and community asset we have there. Um, also want to mention that well, we, we did have a ribbon cutting. Uh, once again, the majority of council attended the ribbon cutting. It was uh, at uh, Dayton Powder Browse uh, over on uh, Far Hills, uh, uh, pretty close to the same strip uh, uh, where uh, Bagel Cafe and, and those other places used to be. And, and the owner is um, Shantara Jenkins. And, and what she did to the inside of that uh, storefront is amazing. It, uh, her studio there is just beautiful. And uh, I think if you get a chance to go over and support that business, that would be great to do. And then uh, last but not least, when you have a choice, shop Kettering. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. I don't have a report for this evening. Okay, no report, Mr. Scott. Be brief. Um, the last past two Friday evenings in a row, my wife and I attended concerts at the Phrase. Two weeks ago was the Menus, which is an awesome show. Looked like they about sold out the place. And last Friday it was We Will Yacht You. And <laughs> the, the most amazing thing about it, five dollar tickets. Okay, so it's a great value for anyone of Kettering or surrounding communities. And again, just shows what an asset we have in the Phrase. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Ms. Duval. 
Uh, just a couple of brief things. Um, I'm happy to report that the uh, new class for the Kettering Leadership Academy has been chosen, and we are very excited. They're an impressive group. Um, I would like to extend a belated welcome back to Mr. Duke. I'm so glad you're here. And um, I would just like to echo Mr. Klepaz's comments about Rosewood Phase 1. It is absolutely a gorgeous facility. It's amazing what they've done, and I'm so impressed. And that's all I have tonight. Okay. Thank you. And last but not least. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I don't have any formal report other than um, the Rosewood opening is great. Get over to see it if you can. It's, it's going to be a beautiful facility as we move forward. I did not expect, I didn't know Lisa was going to make a comment regarding the Leadership Academy. Um, I wanted to, every year we, we interview the students for the Academy, and I have done that over these many years. And this year, because of my injury, I'm not able to do that. And I just want to thank Lisa Duvall, who on one phone call uh, stepped up and agreed to interview some 15 folks uh, an hour at a time, a lot of work, a lot of prep work. And uh, she did it with grace and dignity and is taking over the role uh, that I had in the Leadership Academy. And I know she's going to do a terrific job. And uh, in two weeks, she gets to go on her first overnight retreat to Camp Joy. So, that, oh, second, I'm sorry, she was a student. But anyway, I just want to thank Lisa, and that's all I have, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay, thank you, and it is indeed glad to have you back here. Um, we've made you go through four hours so we're already, and maybe another hour here tonight, but you're holding up, you're holding up just great. Uh, speaking of conducting the interviews, um, the sustainability committee that we are going to be standing up here very shortly. Um, we have been interviewing a number of candidates that, who are interested in serving on that committee, um, more than we can handle. And um, I've just been absolutely incredibly impressed by the credentials and the interest and the enthusiasm by the people who have come forward to volunteer their time for, the, for this committee. So stay tuned for that. You'll be hearing a lot more about it soon. Um, this has been a very, very busy last couple of weeks. So busy, I can't even remember what we did. I do know we ate a lot of hot dogs over the last two weeks, though. <laughs> and uh, But there were so many wonderful events and, and literally hundreds, hundreds of citizens turning out for some of these things. Uh, which has been really neat to see. So proud to be uh, your mayor during the last, well, for the last seven months, but um, particularly these last two weeks has been a lot of fun. Do not forget the Holiday at Home Parade, as if you could, um, and uh, the festival in the park afterwards. It's going to be another great weekend. So with that, we are almost adjourned, but first I am going to mention that if no further business to come before City Council, our next regularly scheduled City Council meeting will be September 13th, 2022. Mention, let's see. Okay, City Council is now going into executive session, so I will not be gaveling it shut. No, Thanks. I did? Okay. All right. Thank you all for coming this evening. <laughs>